I'm an army brat. For all my civilian friends, it might sound a little absurd, but brat stands for born, raised, and transferred. My dad has been in the army from even before I was born. All kinds of camouflages and uniforms he has worn. But as soon as I go and tell this to anyone, the first question they ask is, "Does your dad have a gun? Has he killed anyone?" It's hard to explain that life in the army is more than that. We army brats have donned many, many hats, changing schools, friends, stations every two years, switching languages according to our peers. We wouldn't go to school in a bus or a van. No, that's just too mainstream, man. Shakti Man, that's what they call the big army truck. Our Sayak Bhaiya, our first best friend, giving us good luck. Yes, Shakti Man and Batman, the different kinds of superheroes for us. We army brats really don't like wannabes. Trust me, I've got Akshay, Priyanka, and Arnab in my posse. Arey yar, army me to tumhe sab kuch free me milta hai. Never ever ever say that to me. I get really annoyed when someone prefixes my dad's name with a Tiru Shri or a Mister, Colonel, not Colonel or Colonel. It's really not a tongue twister. I'd be the coolest kid in school when dad would come and pick me up in his olive green uniform with my classmates standing around in a swarm looking like they'd been hit by a storm mess with me if you can my dad is an army man an army brat's life is one of a kind when you meet a new army brat mutual friends you always find cuz we've lived in so many different location places people would be scared to go even on a vacation but i'm not complaining it is so much fun army parties with retro songs great food and the dai turn which by the way is more famous than the dhai kilo ka haat don't switch to another video yet raho mere sath for me canteen means csd furniture means mes and home is always the army cantonment my international experiences have always been very different dad would take us to the border and teach us the order that side is theirs this side is ours as a kid i was shocked to see that both in india and pakistan the same way camels walked But it hasn't been all rosy in all honesty I must admit missing my birthdays and annual days were crimes my dad would often commit and those times when your heart and mind just refuses to tally your father is posted in the most insurgent valley army officer killed in encounter the news flashes defense personnel reduced to ashes you can't help but think about the worst that could have happened there's a sudden sense of peace after that when you thank god it was not your father but feel so bad so horrible for the martyrs kids and families who now have it bad army men are of a completely different race high altitudes encounters separation why take all this tension then retire and fight for one rank one pension but if not for these selfless men guarding our borders we'd all probably be listening to another country's orders i want to take a moment and salute you dad you and your army brigade the people we sadly remember only during a war or a parade you are out there putting your lives at stake for our sake we sleep peacefully cuz you are awake